Adding shadows to the object in your drawing is a great way to create an illusion of depth. So in this lesson, we're going to learn how to do just that. So to begin with, I drew this simple uh, rectangular box right here, and we're going to add a cast shadow to it. The first thing you need to do is determine the location of your light source. So for this one, I'm going to have the light source be in front of the object and sort of in uh, far away in the distance. So I'm just going to put it right over here. So now that you have the location of the light source, the next thing we need to do is locate the shadow vanishing point. And the shadow vanishing point is exactly that. It's the vanishing point that the straight lines of the shadow will converge to. So we're treating the shadow of the object just like any other um, object laying flat on the ground and it has straight lines and it's receding away from the observer. So once again, any parallel lines receding away uh, will seem to converge towards a vanishing point. Uh, the good news is that the va shadow vanishing point is very easy to locate. It's All you have to do is go to your light source and draw a straight line down from the light source until you hit the horizon line and there you will have your shadow vanishing point so it's going to be right there so the shadow vanishing point will always be vertically aligned with your light source so the next step is to determine how long our shadow is going to be so to do that we're going to draw a straight line from the light source through each one of these three upper corner of our object so we have a straight line going from the light source through each one of these three top corners. And I went ahead and used uh, different color pencils so that we can uh, uh, keep track of them easier. Although you can just use regular pencil when you draw yours. Now, why did I pick these three corners and not this fourth corner over here? Well, that's because even though the light source, when hitting the object, will cast a shadow over at this corner, that shadow will be covered up by the object itself. And it's only these three outer corners here uh, that will create a visible shadow on the ground. And so that's why we pick these three corners. Another way to think about it is that these three corners are the furthest away from the light source. And so they form the outer edge of the object, which in turn will create the visible shadow. All right, so now we know our shadow is going to lie somewhere in this vicinity here, although we don't know what the exact shape of the shadow is going to be. So to find that out, we're going to take our shadow vanishing point and draw a line from it through each one of these three lower corners. So notice that each one of these lower corners correspond to a higher corner um, that we drew a line through earlier. And I went ahead and used the same color for uh, each respective corners. Alright, so the point where these lines intersect is going to be uh, the coordinate of our shadow. So now all you have to do is connect these points together to form the shape of our shadow. So now let's fill it in and see how it looks. Alright, so I just used my uh, pen here to shade it in. Uh, you can also use a marker or a sharpie or a pen or just your regular pencil. Uh, I just wanted to give it some extra contrast. Now let's give it some more dimension by shading in the cube itself. Uh, since the light is coming this way, this side of the cube is going to be in shadow, so we're going to use the darkest tone for that. And we'll use a lighter tone for this side over here. And the lightest tone for the top. All right, so that looks pretty good, but the real magic to this technique is when you can actually add a shadow to a second object using the same light source and that's going to give you a very nice cohesive look. So let's do the same thing to this house right here and that will also give me an opportunity to show you how to add a shadow to a uh, house shape object. Alright so once again we're going to be drawing a line from the light source through each one of these three corners uh, at the top of the object. The only difference is that now that we have this roof here, we'll also be drawing a line through the peak of this roof as well. Now the next thing to do is draw a straight line from the shadow vanishing point through this point here, this point here, and this point here. And also, as for the peak of the roof, we're going to take our ruler and draw a straight line from that peak straight down until you hit the bottom edge of this house. And that's going to be our fourth point and we'll also be drawing a line uh, from the shadow vanishing point through this line as well. 
All right, so it can get pretty messy. So make sure you're uh, careful about keeping track of the lines and matching it up to the correct corners. So this corner matches up with this corner, this corner matches up with this corner, and so on. All right, so now let's find all the points where those lines intersect. So here's one, here's one, here's one, and here's another one. All right, so now let's connect these points together to form the shape of our shadow. Now remember to refer back to the object if you have to in order to make sure you connect uh, each of these points to the right one and in the right sequence. And you simply connect this dot here to this corner here and this dot here to this corner here. All right, so that's our shadow. Now let's shade it in and see what that looks like. And now we can shade in the house the same way we did for the cube. Okay, so that's how you add shadows to objects in your drawing. So I hope you enjoyed that lesson. Now if you like more great perspective drawing tutorials, be sure to sign up for my free drawing newsletter at mydrawingtutorials.com forward slash perspective. Also, if you like to get a lot of really great in-depth knowledge about uh, perspective drawing, I highly recommend you check out my course, Perspective Made Simple. It's a video home study course that consists of over 38 individual lessons. And in it, I'll walk you through all the essential principles and methods of perspective drawing uh, from the very basic to the very advanced. Also, in the course, there's going to be a lot of step-by-step -step exercises uh, that's going to help you gradually increase your skill level and apply what you learn. And by the end of the course, you will have drawn your very first ultra-realistic perspective drawing. So if you'd like to check that course out, simply go to the URL on the screen or you can simply click on the link right below this video. Alright, so thank you so much for watching and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below to let me know what you think.